Hi, I'm Dr. Armen, Professor Armen Aswad Satrian from Yerevan, Armenia, and you are on a Dr. Y channel, my dear friends. My dear students, have your seats, take your pens, take your papers to make the notes, and we go on. So, please give us questions for today's topic. Heart failure, so about ah, chronic heart failure. So, okay, uh, today's questions will be all about heart failure. So, what is heart failure? Heart failure is a syndrome of ventricular dysfunction. Left ventricle failure causes shortness of breath and fatigue. Right ventricle failure causes peripheral and abdominal fluid accumulation. The ventricles can be involved together or separately. Diagnosis is initially clinical, supported by imaging tests, echocardiography, chest X-ray, and levels of plasma natriuretic peptides. Treatment includes aldosterone antagonists, sodium glucose contrasporter two, in contrasporter two inhibitors, neprilysine inhibitors, sinus node inhibitors, specialized implantable pacemaker defibrillators diuretics of course and other devices and correction of the causes of the heart failure but no it's largely sufficient for for answer huh? so if you find your question is this in the ticket you answer in this manner so uh, just one for understanding heart failure is a syndrome means symptom complex it's not a disease it's a syndrome of uh, several conditions Actually, if you remember, I explained it several times to my students, beginning from metabolic syndrome, so-called cardiovascular continuum, and is uh, heart failure, just, just before death. Of course, death can be happened in all this chain, for example, just after myocardial infarction, or just for after angina, maybe after first angina, or even without any complaints, it happened. But routinely, in the vast majority of cases, of course, Distalsis from metabolic syndrome, then atherosclerosis, cardiovascular diseases, etc., etc., etc. And finally, this is a heart failure syndrome. So heart failure is a pre-death condition. Pre-death. If you see heart failure in the patients after, for example, myocardial infarction, no chronic heart failure, of course, it's a sign of the end. End is coming. Uh, that's all. Actually, of course, we have left ventricle heart failure, actually the shortness of breath. Actually, the first and principal complaint of the heart failure is the shortness of breath. That's why actually we asked uh, this question, uh, sir, uh, madam, do you have pain or shortness of breath during physical activity? Because during rest, it can be nothing. No, actually big complaints. But during physical exertion, when we can so physical exertion reveal silent ischemia and silent ischemia signs pain if this is a angina pectoris or equivalence is a heart failure signs shortness of breath left ventricle so the most common uh, sign it's uh, of course shortness of breath and fatigue uh, not only during physical exertion right ventricle uh, going with uh, fluid accumulation the incapability of functioning of the right ventricle actually once again my friends function functioning uh, word function comes from greece greek term means uh, work it's just work huh? so incapability to do work is a problem of functioning actually right and left ventricle uh, actually uh, involves in the problem together well sometimes separately if for example this is a myocardial infarction First, we've got problems of the left ventricle and left ventricle heart failure involved in the time heart uh, right ventricle problems. And the same, vice versa, right ventricle then provoke uh, left ventricle problems. Uh -huh. So another question, my friends, classes of heart failure. Oh, okay, so if we talk about uh, classes of heart failure, I suppose without, so the question is without going to the details so it's not acute heart failure so class classes of heart failure of course we talk about new york heart association classification this is a history of a uh, very long story huh? about around 40 or 50 years that uh, if the, my memory doesn't fail maybe 50 years 
this classification exists, New York art classification, New York art noir, or Naya, it depends how you pronounce it, huh? N-Y-H-A, Naya, or New York art association classification. So we have, uh, if you remember, Kilip classification. Kilip classification is going with acute heart failure. And acute heart failure, of course, the most common cause, the principal cause is acute myocardial infarction. So if you want to find classification of acute heart failure, you don't find, don't, don't look it in just heart failure. Look in a myocardial infarction. Normal books, of course. Huh? Actually, I don't, I don't uh, no idea what's happening. What's happening with newest uh, textbooks? Actually, real, the real problem. Okay, let's talk about chronic, chronic uh, heart failure. So, classification of New York, NIA, uh, NYHA, NIA, NUA, NIA classification. It starts from one, from light to severe, very severe. Four classes. So, four classes is very resembling actually Canadian classification of stable angina, very resembling. Actually, going together, huh? but Canadian classification is classification of vagina, and uh, uh, chronic heart failure is classification of uh, heart failure. But actually, the limits this is the limits of physical activity. In Canadian classification, the same four classes we talk about limits activity, uh, uh, limits of physical activity due to pain and vagina pectins. Here it is the same problem, but going with shortness of breath. This actually are equivalents. It's very different to make a strict border. This is a pain, this is a shortness of breath. Actually, when patient talks with, uh, talk, talks with you and talk about his complaints, and when he talks about his complaints, actually, this makes it different for, even for patient to make a strict difference between pain and heart and a shortness of breath. So anyway, today we talked about uh, New York heart NIA classification. If you want to check up, Kili classification find uh, previous one of the previous questions concerning uh, tests concerning myocardial infarction. Uh -huh. So today's is uh, topic is about uh, what about 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 ah yeah yes New York heart classification. So uh, <laughs> New York heart NIA one NIA one no limitation of routine physical activity. Ordinary physical activity doesn't cause undue fatigue, palpitation, dyspnea, or shortness of breath. Okay? So dyspnea is a shortness of breath. My friends, uh, my friends, so we talk about NIA. Actually, we can put this classification after all classifications or, uh, due to uh, diagnosis due to atherosclerosis. All this cardiovascular continuum. Ancient myocardial infarction, uh, you, uh, no, you put, for example, date, anterior myocardial infarction, uh, Q wave myocardial infarction, STEMI myocardial infarction, uh, new arterial hypertension class, and NIA, NIA 1, NIA 2, NIA 3, it depends. So NIA goes actually with uh, aging also, of course. So class one, anyway, no li limitation of everyday activity. Ordinary physical activity doesn't cause uh, due fatigue. No palpitation, dyspnea, etc., etc. Class two, slight limitation of physical activity, comfortable at rest. Ordinary physical activity results in some fatigue, palpitation, and shortness of breath. So slight limitation. First class, no limitation. Second class, slight limitation. Third class, third, marked limitation, marked limitation of everyday of, of physical activity. Comfortable at rest, less than ordinary activity cause fatigue, palpitation, or dyspnea. And finally, class four, the most severe, unable to carry or any physical activity without discomfort. Symptoms of heart failure at rest. It, if any physical activity is undertaken, discomfort increases. For example, you can't go even to toilet without dyspnea or shortness of breath. Of course, this is a severe uh, moment. Uh, uh, actually, we have an objective assessment. 
not every every cardiologist uh, use this class object class objective assessment so because uh, when we talk about naya naya is a clinic uh, persons on the subjective understanding object subjective assessment of the person class we have also objective assessment so a b c d huh so a so we so the person talks to you and you assess the situation the same naya so a class a no objective evidence of cardiovascular disease no symptoms and no limitation in ordinary physical activity so person gives his assessment uh, patient and you gives your assessment class a no objective evidence evidence class b objective evidence of minimal cardiovascular disease minimal mild symptoms and uh, slight limitation during ordinary uh, activity so comfortable at rest so it's your objective assessment class c objective evidence of moderately severe cardiovascular disease marked limitation in activity due to symptoms uh, even during less than ordinary activity Conf no for the moment comfortably only at rest only at rest and finally d class objective evidence of severe cardiovascular disease severe limitations the last class d class experience uh, sim experiences symptoms even while at rest so for example a patient with minimal or no symptoms but a large pressure gradient across the aortic valve aortic valve or severe obstruction of the left main uh, left main no, coronary artery classified function capacity one but objective assessment d means actually patient said no finally actually no problem big problems with shortness of breath but you see the left main problem left main talk about coronary arteries of course function capacity one an objective assessment d or patient with severe anginal syndrome but angiographically re re relatively normal coronary arteries is classified functional capacity four but objective assessment a so but if you don't want to go to details actually i don't i'm not sure that on the big exams the professor me for example will ask questions about this you just can stop on the one two three four naya classification so a function capacity uh, based on a person's a patient's complaint who complaints no it's for cardiology actually objective assessment but anyway so next question please what is heart failure with reducing ejection fraction and preserved ejection fraction? Yes, it's, some, it's something uh, fashionable, uh, new. Uh, so heart failure involves left ventricle dysfunction that ultimately leads to the uh, heart not providing tissues with adequate blood for metabolic needs. If heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, the ventricle contracts poorly and amputies inadequately ejection fraction is low so what about ejection fraction so uh, if we talk about reduced ejection fraction it's less than 45 ejection fraction percents of course sometimes they talk about 35 but of course the the limit is a 40 no uh, most commonly uh, consensus is less than 45 percent this is a classic systolic ejection fraction if heart failure with, pre, uh, uh, with preserved ejection fraction, ventricular filling is, in, is uh, ventricular filling is impaired, resulting in increased and diastolic pressure at rest and or during exercise. Ejection fraction is normal or quite normal. Means ejection fraction is more than 45. So preserved ejection fraction is a diastolic dysfunction if you want. So more than 45% is a in, in, incompetence incapability to make a diastole during to due to compliance problem if ejection fraction less than 45 this is a classic systolic dysfunction huh incapability to do systole next question when do consider heart failure consider heart failure in patients with exertional dyspnea or fatigue orthopnea and or edema 
particularly in those with a history of a coronary artery disease, notably uh, myocardial infarction, hypertension, or valvular, valvular, valvular disorders or uh, murmurs. Okay? Diagnosis. No, diagnosis, of course, of uh, history, complaints. And objective assessment is uh, imaging tests, uh, of course, uh, echocard typically echocardiography, the best one. So you see problems with ki kinetics of, uh, of the walls. Uh, ECG, uh, I don't know. Well, no ECG, why not? Uh, blood, uh, BNP, BNP levels, brain atritic peptides, chest X-ray, why not? Uh, objective test of card functions. Actually, I do prefer to do uh, this for the moment. For for example, just stress test huh? to understand a NIA classification. So actually, do chest do chest X-ray, ECG, BNP. Objective test for clinical function and uh, echocardiography. Prognosis of heart failure. No, we said about, we noted above. Uh, unless adequate treatment, heart failure tends to progress and has a very bad prognosis. Not only uh, with not preserved ejection fraction. Actually, it's pre-death. It's a final point of all, all uh, cardiovascular continuum. And the last question is the management of heart failure. No, of, once again, no, treatment includes Education, of course, lifestyle changes, control of underlying disorders, and varying of drugs, and sometimes implantable device, uh, CRT, ICDs. Concerning medicals, of course, diuretics, inhibitors, beta blockers, etc., etc., etc. Okay, that's enough, uh, I suppose, uh, concerning the problem. Uh, yes, this last question. Uh, thank you for your ignorance. Actually, I answered briefly in the way you have to answer on the big exams. So see you in the big exams and see you in another lectures, actually. Why are only big exams? Uh, see you in another lectures. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our Dr. Y channel. I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.